Hi friends, I'm going to show you how to log into Schoology and how to like make it so that it's organized really nicely. And then I'm going to show you how to bookmark the site so that all you have to do is click on a pretty little icon and you're there ready to do CWI. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to d303.schoology.com. And that's going to take me to where it's prompting me to log in. You don't want to just Google Schoology. You actually need to go to d303.schoology.com. So it's a little bit different from Google in that way. That's why we're going to bookmark the site so that you can have it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and log in using my D303 credentials. And then I am immediately put into my course dashboard, which is nice and pretty because I can see all of the tiles of the courses that I um, am enrolled in. So what I'm going to do to make sure that that happens is um, for you is click on the little arrow next to my name. It says settings. I'm going to click on settings. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom, oops. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom, scrolling, 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 you can see where it says set home page two. And you want the course dashboard to be clicked if you want to be able to see all of your tiles. So I'm going to click save changes. And that's why every time I log into Go to Schoology, I see my courses first. And then if I want to see updates, I'm going to click on the course. And then it'll immediately give me an announcement. If I want to see all the rest of my updates, I can click on that and see any past updates that my teachers or fellow students have put in. I can see if I have any assignments coming up and due over here on the right. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to um, bookmark Schoology so that all you have to do is click on a little icon. So if you look here, I'm just showing you this bar. This is called my bookmarks bar. The way I've organized it is just using icons and not words. I have a couple that have words, but that's just because the icons are the same. So to do that, what I'm going to do is click on this little star until it fills in blue. And then here it says contemporary world issues, um, honors, section, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to get rid of that. I want to make sure that the folder, because I've created a bunch of folders, that the folder that it's going to go to is my bookmarks bar because I want it to come up at the very top of my screen. So I'm going to click done. Oh, and the reason why, yeah, the reason why I um, deleted the name is so that um, it wouldn't clog up my bookmarks bar. Okay, so now, isn't this cute? So you can see a teeny tiny little Schoology symbol. So every time I get on my Chromebook and I'm ready to go to CWI or any other class that uses Schoology, all I have to do is click on that little guy and it takes me there. So that's kind of fun. Um, and it will keep me logged in unless I log out, usually. Okay, so hopefully that helps you um, to be a little bit more, to be able to access your classes a little bit more easily.